Hi everybody, this is Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions with another video tip of the week. Today we're going to talk about intent curves or intent edges. You can also use intent surfaces and let me kind of briefly show you what I'm talking about. So if you want intent edges, you come over to your model, you highlight the extrusion in this case here, you right click and then left mouse button quick. You'll notice that all of the vertical edges that are on that extrusion have now highlighted. I can add a round to those right now and complete the feature. So you're asking me, okay, what benefit is this, is this for me? Well, first off, I didn't have to go through and select every one of those edges individually. I was very quickly able to go in and gather those. And of course, if there's an edge there you don't want to have, you can always hold the control key and, and turn it off, disable it. Now, the other benefit that you get from it is since I put the intention on that extrusion, I can go ahead and edit the definition of the section and let's just say that uh, I now need to make a change to this to this uh, extrusion there so I'm just going to add a couple of triangular features off the side and we're going to clean my, my sketch up a little bit so that it looks pretty and we're going to go back now notice what occurred is those new features that I added in my sketch to that extrusion those triangular features that are uh, sticking out from the sides there they now have these rounds on them also so with that intent edge selection, what I've told the software is no matter what I add to that extrusion, I want you to add a round to the, any of the vertical edges that exist there. So let's explore that a little bit here. I'm just going to wipe that out. We're going to do the same thing with a draft feature. So we'll open that back up. And I'm going to add a draft feature uh, to this uh, knob that you see sticking up on top. So it's the same thing. I'm going to pre-highlight, then I'm going to uh, right-click on the surface and accept it. You'll notice by accepting in the left mouse button, you'll notice that I've highlighted all of the surfaces on the exterior of that extrusion right now. I can take my draft tool, uh, select my draft plane that I want to have, add the taper that, I, that I'm looking for, and now I've got it. Let's do the same thing with that extrude now. Let's go in and edit that section. And I'm just going to do this, the same basic thing here. I'm just going to add a quick little uh, protrusion to that. We're going to delete this segment out. Say OK. Now you'll notice that that draft was automatically added to those two new surfaces. Had I not used the intent selection for my surfaces in this uh, scenario, those sides of that triangular protrusion that I just put on the side of that boss would not have any draft on it. I'd have to go back and add that draft to it. So try that out a little bit. If you need a little help with it, reach out to your EAC Product Development Solutions Account Manager. Let them know you saw a video that Doug had given on intent selection and tell them you want more information. Be happy to get on, online with a go to meeting with you and show you how to do it. Thanks once again for watching. This is Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions. Have a great week.